the stars have aligned and hopefully this is a good day of fishing this is february the 15th one year ago this week i came to the same creek that i'm going to right now and had a really good day of creek fishing in the middle of february and this week's been very similar it's warmed up yesterday got up to 70 today is like 60 so i'm going to go short sleeves the day before that was like in the 50s so a few warm days no rain because we've been getting a lot of rain so at least about a week with no rain the what the water should be at the right flow the temperature is rising the days are getting a little bit longer you know the, the sun's staying out a little bit longer everything just like last year when i went and came down here and caught some good fish so i'm gonna try to repeat that i got a bag of lures and my creek bass fishing rod and let's see what happens Take a look at this. Beautiful looking, beautiful looking. Let's see how active these fish are. Oh, there we go. Something nibbled on it. Has he got a hold of it? Nope. Something pecked at it. Finally felt a little tug back. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, okay. There we go. I knew it would take, I think I thought it'd be worthwhile fishing this hole for a while. And that is exactly what I'm looking for, rock bass. Now I want other stuff too, but there's a lot of rock bass in here and this is a nice one. Oh, man, well, I was gonna get a picture of him, but he's back in. So I've kind of taken my time. I'm looking, I'm really looking for good water or good areas that I think fish might be in and then I'm gonna like kind of fish that area over and over instead of making uh, like, couple casts and moving. I'm gonna try to find the right areas and kind of work those. So right here, we got, there's current coming in up here. It's big, kind of gets calm. It's calm, pretty calm right here. Got current on the other side. There's a log, there's rocks, there's rock. I can see the top of rocks. So there's a lot of um, pockets where something can be sitting. I threw right over a rock I saw. And that's where I got that fish. Let's throw back up in there. He hit it pretty quick like as soon as it oh yep do another one okay so they're on the other side of that rock nice that's two in a row i fished this side and then there's like these three rocks you can't see but there's like these three rocks i can see out there i threw on the other side of them and i got back to back fish these guys are pretty aggressive too today rock bass and there's there's one they kind of live together in a log or a rocky spot and there's usually a few of them and those were a pretty good size ones boom there we go right there come on where you at going for three in a row uh oh nope maybe not Oh no, what did I? Huh, that was weird. Okay. Let's retie and we'll maybe go upstream and try to cast down at it. I'm out here walking the bank and maybe just getting my feet in the water. And I'm actually using some waterproof socks that I've had for a year and I've I've tried to make a couple videos on them and they never worked out. So and I used them the other day when I was kayak fishing and I forgot to mention it because I was stepping out in the water and um, I'm got uh, tying on a leader line here. So I'm gonna do a double uni knot, retie my leader line. I got 10 pound braid on my main line and I'm putting on some 10 pound 
fluorocarbon leader line. I'll try to have links below if it's something you want to go look on the online and look at. And I got a uh, six nine Zodius medium uh, extra fast or fast or extra fast. I can't remember what they label it as, but it's a it's pretty fast rod. It's a, it's a medium, but it's pretty stiff. And then um, the the uh, Shimano Miraville reel. Pull that together. Cinch that knot down. Line clippers, these are real light weight. Easy to carry. Pinch off those. And cut off about, uh, I probably got about eight foot leader line there. I was using the smaller crawl bug and let's go with a little bit bigger one. And this is a darker color. I'm just gonna go with a one sixteenth ounce jig head. I don't have to cast very far and the water is pretty shallow. Don't need a lot of weight to get it down. See how it works with this. All right, try not to get hung up this time. It's a little lever, heavier lure, I can throw it out a little further. All right, try not to get hung up this time. It's a little lever, heavier lure, I can throw it out a little further. Oh, look at a little muskrat. A little baby muskrat right there. Oh, I just dove under. Where did he come from? There's one. There's a fish. And is it rock bass number three? It is. Okay. Another calm. Well, there's a current right there, but it's kind of calm. I'm just looking for places to cast in as I'm walking the bank, looking for openings that I can get a cast in. Sometimes I've had a few places where there's briars and stuff there, and I still got a few casts in. But uh, we got a try out spots so i fished that other place for a little while caught two in a row and then i didn't get another bite for a while oh i just got hung up in a tree I'm trying to cast gotta remember what's over your head oh there we go Got it. Oh, what is that? Oh, check this out. Okay, let's look at this fish a little closer because this it's pretty cool. So I kept getting a bite. I don't know if it was this same fish or not, but I, I had a bite three or four times, kept casting in there. There's a little it's uh kind of calm, a little deep spot, you know, a few feet deep when there's a lot of current on that side. That's a kusa bass. And at, we're in Georgia. I could have counted that for my Cusa bass for the black bass slam, but I don't have a board to measure it. Yep, that is a little Cusa bass. That's cool. That's cool to see that guy active. There's one right there, at the back of the pool. These rock bass got a little meat on them today.
Is that a fish? I do have a fish. What? It was a weird hit. What is it? Whoa! Big old rock bass. On a spinner bait. I was getting ready to decide, trying to decide whether I should keep throwing spinner bait or not. And that rock bass hammered it. Good. I put the spinner bait on. I, I went upstream. I broke off again. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna throw a spinner bait on just to cover some water. Work my way back down. Didn't really think I'd catch anything. But I'm like, but it, you always could. You always could. There's always something aggressive. Okay, switched up to a jig. There's some little, there's current and there's some bigger areas right through here. A few like kind of similar drops. And I, there's usually fish in here. I, I feel like there's always gotta be fish in here. And just trying to figure out a different way to fish it. I think maybe a jig will sit and not get carried away so fast. Maybe it catch them. Maybe get something to bite it. Also, I can kind of let it drift a little bit. Yeah, we gotta get down here. All right, all I need is that one good fish now. Gotta end it, I gotta get one nice bass or something out of here. And there it is, there it is. No way. He picked that jig right up and that's a good fish. He's, well, I think he is, he's in the, no way. I did not even plan that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that, look at that. That's a small mouth. Nice small mouth, <gasps> a nice small mouth. Yes! Yes! Holy cow! What timing! Oh man! Beautiful fish right there. All right, got my phone propped up. Hopefully it shows up. Dude, that's a 16 and a half, 17 inch smallmouth. Pound and three quarters, maybe close to two pounds. What a fish! And and I, <laughs> I actually had caught a smallmouth in that same hole before, and I'm like, ah, let's go in here, and boom, it happens. That's what I came for, right there. And back in he goes. Got him out. Got a couple pictures, and we'll get him back in there. Pretty smallmouth right there. That that's what tops off the day. Maybe I'll catch another one. I don't know. That's awesome. Oh, oh, there's another one. There's another one. What is it? Is that another smallie? It is. Oh no, that's a giant rock bass. <laughs> Holy cow, I thought it was a smallmouth. I'm just still working this hole. Casting at the back of it, casting at the front of it, trying to drag my uh, lure across. Big rock bass there. Right, let him go over here in this calmer water. Nope. Oh, let get back in there. Oh, I snagged. I'm free. I'm free. Or something. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm just working this hole. Like, I mean, I mean, I've probably made 40 casts in there now. Look how what? What's the deal with this one? 
He has a big old belly. Open your mouth. I see crawdad whiskers. Ooh. Okay. All right. That, he's been. Yeah, they've been eating. They're eating in here. You wouldn't think they'd be eating like that in the middle of February. Yep, there's a fish. I don't know if it's good or big or little because it's like. I think it's a rock bass. I think it's a big rock bass though. In the current downstream. Come on up here. Yeah. That is a big rock bass. Man, these rock bass are fat. And uh, I got a new lure on. Changed up another lure. Basically, they just want something bouncing on the bottom. That's a pretty looking rock bass too. This is a tube. I picked up these tubes at the um, fishing expo. And uh, I just saw them like, yeah, I know there's a lot of different tubes out there and I never use them. And I don't, <clears throat> this is probably one of the first fish I've ever caught on one. I know they work good. I just need to make myself use them. And I don't think I have the right hook for it, but it worked. Let's see if we can get another one on it. Another success story. It's always fun when these things work out. And I had, I've been waiting for a day like this everything fit the box you know the water water was at its normal level it had warmed up for a couple days um, the weather was nice and i had all day to fish um this is the end of my basketball season so i'm gonna start doing a little more traveling a little more spending more time in creeks where i can fish four or five hours without rushing to get back um a little more targeting some smallmouth but also just doing a lot more different uh bigger trips hopefully along with some kayak tournaments that Dude, today turned out, I mean, I was hoping to catch, if the best case scenario is I catch several smallmouth, worst case, I didn't catch any. So it was a really good day. Really nice smallmouth. Got that one Cusa bass, a bunch of fat rock bass. Uh, I think I spent three to three and a half hours wandering around, lost a few lures, tried off a few different lures, trying to figure out what it is. And if I could keep on going, I kind of got a pattern where I like, I got to look for that right pool that looks good and um, that are holding those fish. And you got to hit them so i plan to kayak this or maybe float this soon probably let it warm up a little bit more get those fish a little more active that way i can kind of know that um you know i'm going to be able to get some hopefully some good smallmouth and bat so thanks so much for watching and um if you're waiting on this you know the, the creeks to kind of get active this is a little bit bigger creek but i'm going to go check out some small creeks really soon too just to see if those pan fish are starting to come alive as soon as they are i'm gonna start putting videos and start posting pictures on instagram you'll be seeing a bunch of sunfish pictures as soon as I start catching those fish to let people know, like in my area, it's getting alive. And then wherever you're at, you can base that off of that. But thanks for watching and I'm getting out of here.